Hey traders, so welcome back to the Trade Like a Pro Forex channel. And for today, I'll be talking to you about the weekly market analysis for next week. So first off, we'll be reviewing some of our trades that we took earlier this week. And you can see over here, we have Aussie Cat. And prices actually came back down here, made a double bottom with structure in our favor. You can see that we have a push phase. We have outside return, push phase, comes back to this level, creating the higher low. And over here, we have a double bottom. Breaks out of the neckline, you can see clearly over here. So when prices broke out of this level, I set a limit order over here. And we got filled, but with strong bearish momentum against us. And you can see eventually prices move sideways, we got into profits for a bit, but failed to clear this level over here. So eventually prices came back down, we got stopped out at the exact same point over here, you can see clearly, by about 0 0.1 pip or 1 pipet over here. And prices moved off from here, eventually reaching to our take profit level. So the next trade that we took was Aussie Swiss franc, and you can see that over here, we have a resistance turn support, and here, it actually broke out of this resistance level. So it consolidated for a while, and you can see that we have a bullish flag pattern over here. And what we are actually waiting for would be a strong bullish breakout to tell us that the, bull the buyers are in control, you see. So over here was the signal, and instead of taking an entry right above here, we actually waited for prices to give us a pullback onto previous structure over here. So we entered this trade at 0 0.69320. You can see over here, we actually set a buy limit order at 0 0.6932, which we got filled and eventually moved towards our initial take profit level. And if I remember correctly, we actually take profits around the one is to one area because we were about 10 minutes away from um, FOMC, if I'm not wrong. So we actually closed our trade to secure the profits. So the last trade that we took for this week would be the New Zealand cis franc. So you can see prices clearly broke this trend line. And with this strong bullish momentum, this created a higher high as compared to this level, right? So when prices creates a higher high, you are expecting a higher low. And over here would be the high low that we're looking for. Prices made a double bottom over here. So dropping down to the hourly time frame, you can clearly see that there is a minor trend line over here, right? So as long as prices doesn't break this sideways movement, we weren't planning to take any trades at all. And the signal was given when prices broke out of this level with strong bullish momentum clearing this resistance level as well as the trend line. So we place a buy limit order on a pullback to get a better price and prices eventually made towards our take profit area. And you can see that we actually failed to capture this move towards the end of the trading session. But a trading opportunity next week will be if prices comes back to this level and we can actually take a long position here. So next up, we have the US dollar. You can see we may have a potential head and shoulders pattern over here. So this would be a huge one and will be a market driver. So some may view this as a trend line and it doesn't really matter because what we are concerned about would be, let me take out these drawings, this area over here. So if prices can hold at this support level, we'll be looking to long USD, right? Towards potentially this area again. So here will be the neckline resistance. However, if prices do not show any buying interest over here or any bullish pressure, we'll look for sell onto US dollar only if we get a strong breakdown and a retest onto this level over here. So if prices actually breaks down, we can look for two areas. So the first area would be at the $89.8 and the second one would be at previous low around the $89.2 area over here. So moving on, we'll be diving straight into Australian dollar. 
and you can see over here we have a bullish flag pattern so with the use of the Fibonacci tool we project a move towards the 1.272 extension level and from now till then we are always looking to buy towards at least the 1.272 area so you can see currently prices are rallying too much and we expect a pullback before a continuation long so our job here would be to identify a support area so this is the support area that i'm looking for prices have multiple touches and we're actually looking for a pullback over here so prices should give us a depletion of bearish momentum along the way down and this is where we can catch a buy opportunity over here towards 1.272 extension so next up we have the euro new zealand dollar you can see that we are currently in a downtrend and prices actually make a lower low a lower high and a lower low so there are several ways to catch this momentum where you can see currently this is a strong bearish move downside right so we can look for a pullback and take a shot or we can wait for prices to actually give us a sideways movement let me remove the drawings we can wait for prices to actually move sideways and break down again so these are some of the ways you can actually catch this momentum downside so next up we have the pound cat and you can clearly see we are in an uptrend so prices are constantly making higher swing highs and higher swing lows and currently gave us a higher swing high so we are actually looking for the higher swing low and here are the support levels that we have marked out so here is one and we can jump down to the hourly time frame and look for another potential support area about this level so look for bullish price action as prices falls back into this zone and if we see a depletion of bearish momentum we can take a long position similarly for this area we want to see a depletion of bearish momentum and a strong breakout before we take a long position this would be a counter trend trading opportunity you can see we have a clear zone right about here where prices are actually retesting this level so if we drop down to the hourly time frame we will need bearish price action or bearish pressure to regain control over here right so we want a strong bearish breakdown clearing these lows over here or these support levels comes back to retest any of this level before taking a shot over here so this is how we will capture a counter trend trade and probably prices will drop back towards this level over here or this level over here so there are many support zones for you to take profit from or even this zone over here so next up we have the new zealand yen clearly in the uptrend as well prices constantly making higher swing highs and higher swing lows and currently gave us a higher swing high so in a similar fashion we are looking for the higher swing low right and we identified a zone here so dropping down to the hourly time frame we'll be interested in this zone over here so if prices comes back towards this level and show us any signs of bullish price rejection we can actually take a long position here so another zone that you can actually look out for would be the immediate one you can see over here we have another zone so taking this point into consideration we are near this level so looking for the same pattern over here we can actually look for long positions about here so lastly we have the dollar yen we have a clear uptrend over here as prices are constantly making higher swing highs and higher swing lows and over here we are looking for the higher swing low so this is a zone that we are looking for where prices have already been rejected so dropping down to the hourly time frame you can clearly see that there is some sort of bullish sentiment over here but we are not rushing into the trade we will be patient and wait for prices to break this descending trend line so prices may come back to retest this zone again and we will see if prices gives us a strong bullish breakout over here and if it does wait for a pullback 
before you take a long position. So as long as your stop loss is below this zone, you are good to go. So take profit will be at this area over here. So to end off this session, I'll take the chance to answer some of the questions my subscribers have for me. So the question they asked would be, why are we so heavily dependent on limit orders now as compared to previously where we have our trades entered at market order most of the time? So let me use pound USD as an example. So over here, you can see we have a breakout of this level. This candle is the confirmation candle. And what we would have done last time would be to put a buy order here, stop loss below this swing low and aim for a 1 is to 1.5 trade. So clearly over here, we wouldn't have a favorable risk to reward, right? And you can see if we entered on a retest or pullback, right? With buy limit orders over here, we have gotten way better risk to reward. And of course, it doesn't always happen, right? You can see that over here, we have another example, a clear double bottom over here. So the confirmation candle would be a breakout of this zone. And typically what we have done would be to buy over here and maybe stop loss below this zone, right? And this is ridiculous, right? You can see that the stop loss is way too big and we're aiming for one is to 1.5 or whatsoever, right? But what we have done now would be to wait for a pullback, which clearly didn't happen. And this will result in a missed trade. So you just have to balance between the risk to reward versus um, whether or not you, are, you have the fear of missing the trade or if it's a 10 upon 10 trade, right? You can actually fire a trade over here. But if you are willing to let go, right? And focus on the risk to reward, you would more often than not wait for a pullback and extend your target.